welcome back to the vlog. I am just getting ready now because we're gonna do another work from Disney day today. And I think today we're gonna go to Epcot. Well, we're actually starting off at the Riviera Hotel um, because we do have a couple of meetings in the morning. I'm going with Tamiya again. Um, so we're starting off there because they have their little cafe. And then we're gonna go over to Epcot because once they opened up that um, new area in Epcot and they took the construction walls down, um, there was a space there that was basically built for people that always go and work for Epcot. It has so many tables, it has places to plug in your laptop from, like it is literally such a perfect day. Only thing that sucks is that it is summer in Florida, so it is just a million degrees outside, um, but that's okay. We, we persevere. I did get asked by a friend last time that we did one of these work from home from Disney vlogs why we go to work from Disney because it doesn't seem like the most practical location and like that is correct although we are like our whole goal is to find the most practical spot to work from at Disney but honestly the reason why we do it is that as much as I love working from home and you know having all of this flexibility it does get really boring really quick of just having like the exact same routine every single day you know like wake up go to your desk sit there for eight hours and be done it just gets really boring and every once in a while i do go to like a coffee shop and work from a coffee shop and just to like get out of my routine and as like nice as that is that's also just a little bit boring sometimes because you're just i mean i'm in a different location but there's not much going on you're just sitting there and like if you forget your headphones like you're kind of you're kind of just stuck whereas with disney it's just a little bit more fun like we have different spots that we can move to there's like the music going along you know last time we went we got to watch a parade as we were like sitting there working it's just just a more fun work environment i would say and we also just try to plan it out we usually go on fridays because we have planned it out like at work both of us we work in different spots but we're lucky enough that our fridays are usually not very busy and we try to pick the fridays that we aren't busy although i did a really bad job on that today because i didn't realize it was the end of the month already um so i do have quite a bit of work to do today but that's okay but we usually try to pick days where we're not super busy so that we're not like stressed while we're there and we try to end our day with either like getting drinks at one of the locations on property or riding some rides um so it's just like a fun way to also end our week and like kind of treat ourselves for working and you know just having just having a little bit of fun i am running so late right now tamia is legit gonna kill me i haven't even left my house yet and she's already like 10 minutes from the park thankfully i do live closer than her but she's literally gonna kill me i'm packing up all my stuff making sure i have everything i should have packed this last night and i always make this mistake where i don't um and i always think oh i'll have plenty of time in the morning and here i am all right for today's adventure we parked at hollywood studios and are taking the skyliner over to the riviera even though our ultimate goal is to end up at epcot but the epcot skyliner is all the way in the back of the park and i don't even think epcot is open just yet so starting off at hollywood studios <laughs> to be here as usual um and i told you guys earlier that we usually plan this out so that we're not busy on fridays um and in I just a few moments we will be traveling over the headwaters of the everglades <laughs> anyways i said that we usually plan these out so that we're not busy on fridays and i already told you guys that i didn't do a good job with that because I am gonna be busy today. And then I literally just met up with Tamiya and the first thing she said to me was, it's gonna be a busy day today. <laughs> She's already gotten like a million messages from work. So we're doing we're doing good today. But that means that when we get to Epcot later and like our day is over and we're riding Guardians and maybe having a little drink from the booths, it'll feel a lot better.
We have made it to the Riviera, and right behind Le Petit Cafe, which is in the lobby, there is yeah. this whole sitting room here with tons of seating. There's <coughs> tables. We're at a table right now. There's a larger table behind me. I'll turn the camera around and show you guys that has like plugs and stuff. Um, so this is a really, really great space to work. It does get a little bit loud early in the mornings and during um, like check-in and check-out times. But other than that, really, really great space. I don't know if you guys can see, but all these little tables also have like plugs right under them and a ton of people use them to work from here. And then we also have the bigger table over there and it kind of just looks like a library. So if you have meetings, no one would even know you're at a Disney hotel. You guys, we have proof that Tamia does love me. She went over to Le Petit Cafe that's right next door and she asked me before she walked over there if I wanted anything. And I was like, no, I'm, I don't know. And she came back and got me coffee and a croissant. She does love me. Coffee taste test. I think they have different coffee here than they do. Like, I don't think it's everywhere Joffrey's. Else. Yeah, it's not Joffrey's. I got, I went to Le Petit Cafe. The line was long for quite some time, but I went back and tried croissant in them. Do you hear that flakiness? I don't know if that even registered. Alright, let's try the mm -hmm. croissant. That is a perfect croissant. Alright, we are leaving the Riviera. Um, we have been sitting in that cafe all day. It is already 3 p.m. and we haven't eaten any food. We've just been super busy. I mean, like, we ate the croissant earlier, but no lunch or anything like that. So we're gonna head over um, to Epcot now and find a spot to work from there and maybe find some food while we're there because we're starving and. Yeah, it also looks like it's about to rain though, so we're gonna try to find a spot with an umbrella. Hopefully that area that I was telling you guys about earlier has something there. If not, we may need to go inside, but well, we'll see when we get there. Yeah, as you guys can see, it is raining over there, so hopefully Epcot is fine, but We'll see where we end up. Hopefully because of the rain though, Epcot clears out because I was looking at wait times earlier and Mission Space, out of all things, had a 70 minute wait, which is absolutely insane. Um, so hopefully the park does clear out because a lot of Epcot is outside, so we'll see. We were also thinking that today Epcot was gonna be empty though because over at Magic Kingdom, Tiana's Bayou Adventure is officially opening today. And so we were hoping everyone went over there, but with this rain, uh, doesn't look like that's the case. Back on the Skyliner we go. We just got to Epcot and of course got checked by security because of the laptops, but one thing we did not think about when planning this is the fact that the Skyliner drops you off all the way at the back of Epcot and the seating that we're thinking of is all the way at the front um, and there's possible rain coming. So we're gonna do a little hot girl run basically all the way to the front of the park and hope and pray that once we get there, there's seating available with some sort of cover. All right, so this is the spot that we were talking about that has a ton of open seatings and you see our beautiful Epcot wall from here. Um, there's also plugs if you're sitting at this benches. There's tables on the side here as well that have actual like chargers right up for it. I think we're gonna sit in one of them back here where Tamiya's at. Um, but it's a really, really good spot. The only thing is that there is no umbrellas over here and Right now it is super gloomy out and it's actually not that hot outside so I think we'll be fine but if you're coming here during a sunny day it may hurt a little bit to sit out here. Okay so this is what I was telling you guys why I like working at Disney earlier. We just sat down and there's already a show happening over here which if you need a quiet space, obviously not good, but it's really entertaining to be here and it just takes you so, like, it takes you out of your regular day-to-day -day work from home routine. Like, there's so much happening around you that you don't get bored while you're working, so. I personally like that. If you like a quiet space, working from Disney is probably not for you, but if you like to be entertained while you work, this is a great spot.
have officially finished working. Um, it was actually kind of nice out here. It wasn't too hot, so if it's not a super sunny day, I highly, highly recommend that spot. But right now, we are headed over to our Guardians reservation. We made a reservation this morning at 7 a.m., um, and we got called a little bit ago, but obviously we were working. But now that the day is over, we're heading over there. And we found a dining reservation for St. Angel Inn, however you say it. Well, that was the most English we've ever said that before. Whatever. Um, but we found that reservation, but that's not till later tonight. So we are going to spend some time just walking around. Maybe we'll go into the shops and see some merch, and then we'll go over there. It'll be my first time dining there, so I am very, very excited to try it. Welcome, people of Epcot. Epcot. Epcotians, citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? What? I'm on. Someone needs to tell me what I'm on. Welcome, Epcot Terrans. The great rush to get on Guardians. from existence. got off Guardians and it looks like it's about to storm um, and the weather report says it is going to storm with like lightning for the next hour or so so we decided to just come over to Mexico I think we're gonna go into La Cava and get a drink and just wait for our reservations to start because we do not want to be out here when this rain comes the good thing though is it says that the rain will have stopped by the time that we're leaving so Hopefully the Skyliner will be open and we'll be able to take that back over to Hollywood Studios where we parked this morning. The Cava line is lying in, but usually they get through this line pretty quickly. Hi, can I do the avocado margarita? All right, I got the avocado margarita, which everyone says is the best margarita in La Cava. I've never tried it because I've always been scared to, but I'm gonna try it here. I did it for the vlog. That is so good. Oosh. It doesn't taste like avocado. What does it doesn't taste like? I don't know. Tequila? <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. Alright, we've been sitting here chit-chatting for a bit. We finished our margaritas a while ago and we just checked in for our reservation. It lets you check in a little bit early, so we were able to do that. And our table's ready, so we're gonna go and I'm really excited because I don't know if I said this. I think I said this. Yes. That it's that it's my first time trying this place. So I'm excited. I also just really love this pavilion. It is so cute. They have the cutest mini ears in here and just everything you could ever want. I just spotted these as we were about to go check in and I'm kind of obsessed with these. Look at how cool this place is with the volcano. If you're sitting on the edges too, you can also see the ride that goes through there, um, like the little boats. It's such a vibe in here. Here's a quick look at the menu. They do have some signature drinks and the margarita, um, the avocado margarita that I got earlier is one of their signature drinks. But they also have a ton of other drinks. They have like a mezcal, some flights. They do have some mocktails as well. Um, so I think we're gonna get one today. All right, so our margaritas came. I got the El Diablo, which is basically a spicy margarita. And then to me, I just got a classic margarita. And then we got the queso fundido to start, which looks so good. It comes with tortillas as well. And just, just look at that. Trying the margarita. I do love a spicy margarita, so we'll see. She's definitely spicy, but it's not my favorite spicy margarita I've ever had, but it's pretty good. All right, gonna try the queso with the tortillas. Mm. That's so good. What is that, chorizo on it? It's so good. So, so good. We just got the carne asada and this is huge. So definitely shareable if you're looking uh, to share with someone because this is so much more food than we were expecting. Find this out starting with the carne asada. I will say, very well seasoned steak. Do I think it's anything special? Not really. But it's very 
good. Trying the tamal de rajas next. Oh. It's okay. It's not my favorite. Last but not least, the rice. Okay. This is being really blurry, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but she doesn't look that seasoned. Oh, oh, okay. I don't know. I wouldn't give this a 10 out of 10. I would give this maybe like a six and a half out of 10, which is really sad because it is a $54 dish. Right, we just finished with dinner and we are about to head home for the night and our waiter, first of all, was the nicest human being ever. Sh big shout out to Marco because he was the sweetest human being. Um, but as far as the food goes, it wasn't my favorite. I don't know. I really like the ambiance in there, but at least what we ordered for our entree was just okay, especially for the price. It was $54 for that plate, and it was okay. Um, although I will be trying it again at some point because Tania has gone and eaten there before, and she agreed that, like, what we ordered today was not the best, but she has said that things that she's ordered in the past are really, really good, so I'd be down to go back and try it, but I think we're gonna be done here. We're gonna go walk back to the Skyliner, and that is pretty much it for my day. I don't know if once I get home, probably just relax and unwind for a bit. Um, and kind of just start off my weekend. I love doing these Disney days on Fridays because it's just a really great way to end your week. There's nothing boring about it. You have something planned. You're like out of the house. And like I said earlier, being like at home all the time just gets really, really boring. So doing these Disney days just really gets you out of your routine and I absolutely love it.